All right, so uh, we're going to check out the uh, new February update uh, by World of Warcraft coming to retail. Um, it's something called the Trading Post. Uh, we're going to check it out and see what it's uh, all about here. Um, let's talk about this, uh, trading post deal here. So, I've noticed these little, uh, buildings, uh, previously being in the game, um, before. Wondered what they were. I thought they were going to be, uh, personally, I thought they were going to be, um, stables for, uh, your dragon riding to kind of give, uh, you know, an in-game lore representation of uh, bringing the dragon riding to um, World of Warcraft, and it would be a later um, patch once they made sure that there was no, um, you know, physics problems within the engine uh, in the uh, old world. That's kind of what I thought this was going to be. Um, and then the whole trading post, like, name, I honestly just thought that that was you know, going to be a continuation of the, uh, uh, profession, uh, the professions, uh, kind of deal that they revamped, uh, this expansion. But after seeing this, it, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, new way turn rewards. This is, this is very good. Um, if we look right here, uh, these are pretty standard, not too insane, um, especially uh, with uh, how just easy these things seem to be. I mean, 30 quests, that's not that bad. Uh, 25 raid bosses, if that could include, like, going back and running, you know, dungeons for transmog and mounts and stuff, um, that could be super easy, too. Um, complete 15 Mythic Plus Dungeons, um, you know, you could do just, uh, you know, Mythic 2s, so, once again, super accessible. I like to see accessibility. I don't like to see, um, things kind of, uh, gate-kept behind, you know, a big wall that you can't really get through. I, I think that that's kind of bullshit you know, complete any 10 dungeons. Once again, does this uh, include, like, old school dungeons? Like, can I go and do, um, like, uh, mana tombs or whatever? And, uh, you know, I, I believe it's mana tombs. I don't know, one of the ones in the Archidome in uh, Outland. Um, if you go into it there on heroic mode, there's a... Uh, a mount that looks like a, a raptor and a raven, like, fused together. Um, I already got it. It's called the Raven Lord. But, I mean, if you went back, like, I'm just using it as an example. If you went back and you were like, hey, I just want to go and run this dungeon on, uh, you know, my alts and stuff, and you got, like, you know, five, ten characters, you, you knock out that super easy, you know, and... Let's assume that the first one's 100. Then you got 100, 250, 200. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 700 right there. And up at the top you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I mean, you could essentially... And, and it, it based on the time it lasts, 29 days, that's really, really kind of nice. And, and like... You know, it shows that there's PvP, there's quests, there's, you know, professions, there's holiday events, there's so many different ways you can get this. 
um, the accessibility of this is looking really cool just from like the um, you know surface level um, now then we can see the prices of a couple of things like 200 for a bow is that outlandish I don't think so uh, you know 900 for a mount that's that's a bit steep. That's looking about. That's looking like it could be like a month. Um, you know, over a month because if that if those are all the ones you can get in a month, assuming that those ones are just what you can get, it could be over a month. But you know, maybe there's just a you know there's so many you can get you can get like a massive amount of these. Um, the question is, you know how much FOMO are we talking here? Because World of Warcraft is a game that's like <laughs> nearly been out for 20 years, literally. Like we're coming up on 20 years for WoW fast. And um, there's a lot of bullshit <laughs> to be put into this thing. So how FOMO are these items? You know, um, you, you just don't know at this point, but um, that could... Um, I don't know, kind of alter things. So, as for the some of the cosmetics and like weapon appearances, this is really cool. I like this. This is nice. I like how they have the little um, wooden dudes to show it. Now, I really do wish that these that we could have player housing, and then we could have these dudes doing this, and then like click on it and open up a transmog window and be able to put transmog sets for um like appearance uh just you know visual uh, you know appetite inside of your own little house be able to invite people into your house kind of like the the garrisons thing that they did back in uh warlords of draenor except i would make it so that it's more it's not it's not like you're gonna have your professions there you're gonna have your pets there you're gonna have uh you know everything there you're gonna have a quest that you have to pick up there i want it to just be f like the fringe you know side of wow like end game end game level where you just kind of put some stuff in there you can show it off to your friends who are new to wow and uh, you can kind of go in that direction if you want. I, I think that that's a better um, direction, and I kind of want it to uh, to be uh, heading in that direction. So, anyways, long story short, um, yeah, that that's really cool. Um, let's see here, uh, things like this. I mean, okay, I guess like some female transmogs or some shit. This, I think, is cool. I like these this style of helm. It's like, reminds me of kind of like the Fable style. I think that we need some more uh, stuff like that. Um, we got uh, flails. The, the flail, that's really cool. Because I believe the only way you can get a flail in the game currently um, is one of the warrior, protection warrior appearances. So that's cool that they're doing that. Uh, the little little pets, these things you can play like a version of Pokemon with, uh, that's built into the game. You know, if that's if that's you know up your alley, down your alley, whatever your persuasion, that's cool. Um, as we can see, uh, this, if you don't know, is a store mount, um, and having the accessibility from in game being able to do things in game. And, and be granted these uh, things in the store, uh, that these mounts that were in the store, um, lends credence to uh, uh, making them, I don't know, I guess, worth more in the minds of the players. So I think that that's a really good uh, direction that they should take, a morally sound direction uh, in the eyes of, you know, individuals that are... Uh, for instance, gamers, and not just profit makers. So I'm really happy about that. 
I like that you complete activities to get these things. This isn't a money cash grab. Um, you know, which this is, uh, and, and this kind of stuff, you know, for 50 just to, you know, slash love or slash kiss or something, uh, a, um, one of the dragon aspects. This is Alex Straza. She's kind of the head of the aspects and, uh, leader of the, um, the red, uh, dragon flight. Um, really, really cool. Actually, as, I mean, she's pretty covered up now because after all the bullshit, they, you know, went a little too PC in my opinion. But, uh, she used to be like a, a major, uh, like, wow character that was, uh, like fantasized about in the, for children and stuff, you know, you know, little teenage boys, you know, chicky and her thong and stuff, how she used to look. Um, once again, cool progression. Um, resurrect players. This looks like now, now see how this has a check mark and not a, a like baseline amount. I think that the, it's showing that there's going to be some of these that are like, you know, resurrect players do this, do that. Uh, potentially, I, I don't know, just, you know, throwing things out there. I think it's interesting. Um, you know, whatever i that's kind of cool i guess um as for the obtaining mounts that's sick and, and these mounts aren't in the game as far as i know if they are then whew, right over my head <laughs> but um uh it's cool to see that they're actually um doing this i mean that's that's really really nice of them uh Plus, you know, it's cool. It's cool to have these things. It's cool to um, to kind of have a uh, a world in which you can gain unobtainable items in different ways. I mean, we've got flails. This isn't really nice. We got the mount. That's super cool. Uh, we got the staff. That could be used for a lot of transmogs. Got the little pet here, um, you know, for the little Pokemon battles. We got uh, unique transmogs. We got our, our uh, storm mounts that are in there. I mean, everything that I've seen so far with this looks good. It genuinely looks good. So, um, best of luck to WoW, and I hope that everything works out with this. It, um... I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm super ultra excited, but I am, uh, I'm intrigued is the best way I'd explain it. But yeah, thanks for listening, man. Have a good one.